my other passion besides vegan activism. Oh my God, it is such a beautiful day today. John Jamal, definitely one of my favorite characters on this campus. And about a year ago, maybe even more, before Bernie Sanders was a mainstream name, he told me that Bernie Sanders needs to win presidency. And more importantly, John told me the reason he's not vegan is because he thinks there's no hope for the human race. And that if Bernie Sanders got elected, there would be hope. And if he becomes president, he will go vegan. John will go vegan. I love that guy. He's a nut job. So my Mondays and Wednesdays are the most repetitive because I'm the busiest and I just have the same schedule. I'm sick of showing you guys the same going to ballet, doing the same workout. So I'm gonna leave my camera in the ceramic studio, go do a workout right now, and most of this vlog will be focused on me throwing pots because I've been getting a lot of comments that you want to see more of that. I started making pots in ninth grade and I've never stopped. It's been nine to 10, 11. We're coming up on eight years that I've been throwing and I've never taken more than like six months off. It's just a beautiful thing. You take clay from the earth, mix it with water, touch it with your hands on a spinning wheel, which is sort of a meditative calming act. And then at the end you get stuff that you can eat out of. This is my cubby over here. Here's just a small selection of things I've made in the last few months. I will never stop making pots. I will always make pots. I love it, and let's go throw some. You're gonna spin that around and try No, that would be very bad. <laughs> okay, first crucial thing before throwing pots is carving up. Two hands on the tool. Not let your hand, so you gotta be really sturdy. Start with your big tool. So you wanna be on this side, just like that. That's what you want. How fast can I spin my food while you're trying to eat it? That's not a good game. <laughs> Alright, I'm doing high plates again. In order to get all the clay off of them. Alright, time to center. There is a very nice pie plate. That's for you, Barrett. It's for my friend Barrett, who just found out she might have torn her meniscus. Mush mushroom my, gnome home. My mushroom gnome home. Berry house. So sweet. Berry house. Yeah. So awesome. 
All right, bye, you guys. Yeah. Val, I'll see you in an hour. Sounds wonderful. Or I'll see you in like 45 minutes. Bye, everyone. Bye. Pottery is an extremely difficult art. It takes years of practice. It's not like... You know, some people are sort of just good at drawing and they can just sort of do it when they start. Pottery is not like that. It is a craft. But it's the challenge that's the fun part. Like, I can make pretty much everything generic. I can make big bowls, big plates, mugs, stuff like that. But still to this day and forever making pottery, I'll be able to just push myself and try something really hard. You know, a really tall vase with a narrow neck. The journey never ends with pottery. You never master it. In a perfect utopian world of mine, I would make it on social media with my vegan activism and just be able to, you know, sell stuff on my website, make vlogs, and be a potter. Okay, I'm about to go do something really fun. One of the RAs, like residential advisors of one of the dorms, asked me to come do a little talk about veganism and make banana ice cream for her like hall mate people, which is gonna be so fun. That's like my two favorite things to do. Talking about veganism and eating ice cream. Um, I hope my car starts. <laughs> seven people are starving of calories. We feed about 80% of the corn and soybeans grown in the United States, which is the main crop, to for cattle feed. It takes way more calories of food to feed an animal and make it grow to its size to slaughter. Affluent people like us and a, a lot of people in the world choose to instead buy meat, which is, in my opinion, a slap in the face to starving people around the world. Um, Kelly? My, 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 my language is really intense and I understand and like I am a cool chill guy that you can like hang out with and I won't lecture you just in these kind of settings I sort of like you guys are conscious enough way more conscious than a lot of people out there who are like I don't even want to fucking hear about this because it's so messed up so I just want to be kind of real about it and um, show how passionate I am. I'll stay in touch with you guys and we'll hang out. Yeah, yeah you thanks. Awesome. Thank cool. you so much. Yeah, I'm totally deaf. Um, are, wait, where are you right now? Dude, that was a banana and ice cream massacre. It was a okay, lot. Cool. Of, that was a like, lot. Asking people what flavors they want. I've never, I've never made that much an ice cream before. We made, oh shit. We made strawberry, cinnamon, peanut butter, chocolate, and that's it. That, that was a great success, it was wasn't so it? Fun. So Thank you, Val, for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, you. everyone has left now because my batteries died, but there were like there were a lot 25. Five? Yeah, yeah, 25. We fed an ice cream to 25 people. Yeah, Most of them were not vegan. Um. I just veganized at least a couple people. That was so awesome, wildly successful. Um, my batteries died, and I was just so in the moment making an ice cream that I didn't film that much, but there were like. 30 kids that were very interested to hear what I had to say and we fed them and they were happy and I could do that stuff every single day. Much love, Dream Extreme as always, stay warm and I'll see you later.